Hey everybody, Ethan here. Welcome to Hello Road. So I'm super excited. Chevrolet invited me to Spring Mountain Motor Resort just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada to drive the C8 Corvette on the racetrack for a full day of track time. So today I'm headed out to Vegas. I'm gonna pick up a C8 Corvette to drive to the track. So let's go. All right, so we made it. We're here at Spring Mountain. I'm all checked in. I've actually never been here before. This place is luxurious. This is like the nicest racetrack I've ever been to. If you've followed my channel, you might know that I used to race Spec Miata. I've also raced 24 Hours of Lemons with Liam Nissan. And if you've seen any of those videos, you'll likely know that I'm kind of a crappy race car driver. So I'm really hoping that this experience will help me brush up my skills and not suck so bad the next day. All right, so I'm actually giddy with excitement. I have a smile that I cannot remove from my face. It's kind of there permanently, and I haven't even driven on the track yet. So the driving school here at the track is the Ron Fellows Performance Driving School, and today I'll be driving a basically stock C8 Corvette with a Z51 Performance Package and track alignment. As far as I know, pretty much the only mods to the cars are the stickers and the radios. I'm really looking forward to getting in one of these. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. Hopefully I get this highlighter yellow one, but this is going to be my first time driving a mid-engine vehicle on a racetrack. I hope to not things up and hopefully I can learn a few things here today because they actually have some world-class instructors. Rule of the day, anytime I get in a race car, don't crash. That's the first thing I say, don't crash the car. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Now I think I got my driving position all set up. I'm really trying to get this as low as possible so when I have my helmet on, I'm not hitting my helmet on the ceiling. I really like to be close to the wheel when I'm on a racetrack. This is certainly the most luxurious car I've ever been in on a racetrack. So before we head out onto the racetrack, we'll be doing some skid pad exercises. The first one is braking on a wet road to get a feel for how the car reacts when traction is limited. And so you can experience the sensation of the ABS engaging. And he's gonna point you guys to what would be the right lane or the left lane. So when you guys approach, it's very simple. Pretty much when your tires touch this water, that's when he's gonna point you. Ethan, let's do it. The brake is on and firm. Nice. That's good, guys. Let's bump it up to 40 miles an hour at the time, okay? Ethan, go at the gate. valuable exercise. Obviously it applies a lot to driving on the street every day. Okay, so up next is the serpentine exercise. There's a bunch of cones set up on the skid pad, and the goal here is to force you to look to your side to determine when to turn. When your body gets to the cone, you turn the car, and then you anticipate when the next cone will be, and you head to it without looking out your windshield. The goal here is to get used to looking to your side towards your next turn, and to avoid tunnel vision when you're out on an actual racetrack. All right, Ethan, you're good to go when you're ready. Nice straight line, looking across. All right, nice job there, Ethan. Good run for you. The next step is he's going to put a sunshade over my windshield so I can't look forward. So I have to use the side window. So this is something that anybody that wants to go on a track, they should really try this. Make it a little more fun, you know? And then Ethan, uh, when you're ready, you are good to go. Looking across to the left, be patient. There you go. Now plan for your next one. You know you want to continue left. Look into the right. There we go. And then back across towards the orange top. Looking left for the blue. There you go, just like that. That was fun. All right, so the next exercise is the oval. We'll get up to speed and we'll try to be sure to look ahead towards our turn. 
The yellow cones, the small ones, those are there for a couple reasons. You can use them as a reference to help identify the radius of the corner. Okay. But what they also help with is helping our timing of the brake release. So as we accelerate and get up to speed, we're going to stay out wide right. Yeah. Light braking just to help put, put some front weight on the tire. And then you maintain steady throttle, look for your next turn in point. Then you can throttle out to the right. So we want to get all the way to the very edge because yeah. it's such a tight corner. We want to make sure that we're trying to maximize it. So really, really get yourself to use all the track all the way right. Try to stay out against the yellow cones initially. Start gradually tightening to the apex. Now look, try to visualize a line that connects you from the apex to the turn-in point. Yeah. That way you can accelerate and get to the throttle early. So look in the left, tight to the cone. Now start looking for the exit of the corner. Throttle, go. Light braking, looking in. And the whole trick, even on such a small exercise as this, is just looking far enough ahead. So trying to put yourself one step ahead of the car. Just like the racetrack, you're trying yeah. to take one corner ahead. It's interesting, because I've never done an exercise like this before. I've done a lot of track stuff, but I'm having a little bit of a hard time like seeing how I'm going to apply this. Like I kind of get it. Uh, I'm trying to picture this as like a turn. You yeah, know? it's hard because yeah. there's no track edge. You're yeah. missing that one extra visual yeah. um, sort of reference yeah um so being able to visualize that radius and then the straightaway if we were able to cut the asphalt away and had dirt right there or a wall then you it would make a lot more sense exactly yeah, yeah. Okay. because without that penalty it just we it's hard for us to sometimes get to that next level of focus yeah that makes sense so exercises like this where you have minimal risk, the only thing you risk damaging is a cone. This is a great way to learn some car control skills. It's a great way to make it so you have a little bit more of the fundamentals when you get on the track. And I don't have any of that. My experience has basically been hopping in a Lemons car and uh, trying to drive as fast as I can and try not to hit anything. So having some more formal training like this is just so great. All right, so it's time for a classroom session. We'll get fitted for a helmet, and pretty soon we'll hit the actual racetrack. About to head on the track. Got my safety gear on. Once again, the mantra, do not crash. I think I'm mostly ready to go. I actually have enough room in here with this helmet. All right, so we're about to head out onto the track. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for the power, the extreme capabilities of this C8 Corvette, but I am ready to make a fool of myself because I'm always ready for that. So what we're going to do now are some lead follow sessions. Each driver gets a few laps right behind the instructor, and he'll give some tips and suggestions as he looks back and sees how we're all doing. Opening track session, more or less just focus on just learning the process, putting the car in the right places, learning the proper line, proper shift point. Just try to make that stuff concrete, get it really down to habit. And then we can just focus on from there, just learning how to push the car, push ourselves, have some fun with it. Currently we're making our way in towards turn number 10 third gear here as we look through the apex, a ton of usable apex curbing here, so really try to take advantage of it. Ultimately, I try to straddle that curve to the best of my ability so I can make the radius larger and carry more speed. Look here as we look into the right. There's that line off, look for the apex, breathe as we turn in, watch my right side tire. Right side curve, and again, left side five degrees of steering adjustment. So that was insanely great instruction. Lead follow exercises are such a good way, not only to learn the track, but to really see like a professional's viewpoint as to where you should be braking, where you should be turning in. So there's a couple series of turns here that I am completely messing up, but this instruction is great. It's so good to do this lead follow. 
That downhill turn, I can't get that. Last session of the day. I feel like I can make some improvements here. At least I hope I can. The instructors had some really good tips for me on that turn that I'm having trouble with. So yeah, I gotta, I'm really gonna spend most of my time trying to work on that turn. Way to go there, guys. Definitely went a little quicker than the previous session. And a minimal mistake. You guys are dipping down into the 18, so that's pretty quick. So that lead follow exercise was incredibly helpful. It's really nice when you can actually follow a professional race car driver and see what they do and really kind of pick up some tricks. There's something to be said for really learning the car and really understanding how it works, really understanding all of the details about how the chassis is set up, understanding where the weight transfers, how the weight is balanced. And uh, yeah, you can drive these things fast. There's a bit of extra time left today, so we're going to head over to the straightaway and do a few launches using launch control. I already did this in the <laughs> Zeus Bronze Metallic C8 that Chevy loaned me, but I'll never get tired of doing more launches, so let's go. Here we go. That was fun. 3.6. There's a lot of reasons why we're not going to get under three seconds zero to 60. 3,000 feet elevation, it's really hot, it's 108 degrees out here, so that's going to rob horsepower from the car. The track is dusty, it's windy, so I'm pretty happy with 3.6, that was, that was pretty damn quick. Alright, here we go. We did a 3.4, we're getting closer. So yeah, launch control, it doesn't serve any purpose other than just pure ridiculousness, but it's a ton of fun. I'll never get sick of it, I'll do it all day. I've never driven a car that accelerates as quickly. It's pretty awesome. All right, that's it from Spring Mountain. I had an amazing time. If you own a C8, you definitely have to do this school. If you don't own a C8, you probably should also do this school. If you haven't driven a C8, you definitely should drive one. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it here. I, I don't want to leave. Please don't make me leave. I want to go back on track. All right, I think that's going to be it for today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you can get notified of all my new car reviews, used car reviews, and trips to racetracks like this. I don't do it very often, but I'm going to try to do it more now that I've experienced this. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're well, and I'll see you soon.